Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company accounting lesson. In this video, we will be going over how to perform a common size analysis, also known as a vertical analysis on an income statement. So here we have this company, GIO Inc. And this is their income statement. In other words, for income statement is the statement of operations. Now, when you're performing, I'm going to refer to it as a vertical analysis during this video, but when you're performing a vertical analysis, think that you are going to be analyzing all of the accounts uh, vertically up and down, right? So essentially what we are trying to accomplish here is we are trying to see what percentage each of these line items are as a percentage of a particular um, area or item. So the line item that we use when performing a vertical analysis on the income statement is we will always see what percentage every line item is as a percentage of revenues, right? So this company has two revenue categories, but what, but what we are focused on is our total revenues here. So for example, um, I want to know how much my service revenue is as a percentage of my total revenue. So I will take my service revenue, divide it by my total revenues, and I find that my service revenue is, let me go ahead and make this into a percentage for us, is essentially two thirds of that amount. Right? And I'm going to be doing the same thing on this next one here. So for sales revenue, it is going to be a third, 33.33%. And we are going to continue to do that for every single line item. And now I know this isn't an Excel uh, video, but just so that you can kind of see, um, I'm going to be using a formula to help me go ahead and copy this formula down so I don't have to go one by one. Uh, notice that for every single line item on here, I want my denominator to stay constant at 3 million. So I want it to stay in row 10. So I'm going to use an absolute. Hopefully you've seen these before. That will keep my formula consistent in D10 as I drag down. So for example, let me just do these first three. You'll see now when we look at it, it stayed with D10. I did this one too, D10. Let's go ahead and drag it all the way down using our fill handle. There we go. Now there will be a few zeros that I have to delete as I go through this, but for the most part, it did almost all of the work for me. There we go. So now when you're taking a look at this information, you can kind of see here when we are analyzing our net income, we can see that net income ends up being 10.40% of our total revenues. And it usually is good practice to go ahead and put your math lines in the same way you would for um, the regular line items that you're seeing right next to it. So just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Mm -mm, there we go. So um, as you can see, the purpose of doing this is to essentially kind of grab and see how much of our total revenues each cost is eating up, and then also how much we're left with at the very end for our, our net item. So our like our net income, our income before income taxes, operating income, gross profit, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to quickly do one for this side as well. So remember, I'm doing every line item with the denominator of revenues. So here is my revenue. I want it to stay consistent in that row. Let's change this to percentages. There you go. And then let's just drag, oh, fill handle, drag it down and then delete any unwanted zeros. Okay, and then other than that, you're simply going to be adding in a few of those uh, math lines and you are really good to go with the common size analysis for the vertical, or for common size analysis for your income statement. Uh, keep in mind, this is going to be different when we get to our uh, balance sheet. 
So um, please make sure that you review that video if you are doing a common size analysis for a balance sheet. I'll make sure that I link to that one in the description below. Okay, and until next time, happy studying. Good work.